here, head trainer at SSS Mission Academy in Clarksville and all sorts of other places actually. I have professional fighter 3 one Russell Ellaby here, he's also in the military, one of our top guys here is a professional, and also Edward Massey, uh, Edward is currently the SSC title holder at 135 pounds. Okay, we're going to cover, there you go, over there to all the fanfare and belts. A uh, couple things we're going to cover real quick. First off, I wanted to real quick just go over some of the differences between boxing and MMA because, um, guys, it's important. As you can see right now, for sparring purposes, we have the boxing gloves on. All right, but if these two gentlemen face each other and they're here, remember, boxing gloves have a lot of space. It works to cover here. You can cover here and stay here, and you're covering here because his glove and hand are bigger with the glove on. His hands and gloves are bigger. When you take those away, things become very small, okay? So one of the things we like to do is when we transition into MMA, we stop. You don't hold your hands here as much as you keep them open. You have surface. And when we check punches, especially big hooks and things of that nature, what do we touch, guys? Touch that ear, and elbow comes in, boom, 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 okay? But just saying, and also don't forget your stance. Get your hand down real quick, Ron. Traditionally, boxers will stand a little more linear, okay, and they'll stand here. Why they can do that is because nobody's attacking their legs. Nobody's bringing up that head kick on that angle, okay? MMA-wise, we need to square that stuff back up. Okay, good. Covering that right off the rip, let's cover something as far as our striking. And this is one of my favorite things to do. It works real well for longer fighters, shorter fighters as well. Russell, start working that jab for me. Boom. And you get a guy that wants to do this. He wants to pummel that jab big. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to show that jab, and instead of jabbing, we're going to throw that left hook. Boom. If you look again, okay, we're going to pivot a little bit. If we could, guys, come this way so we can see it from the other side. Good. Jab to that left hook. Boom, right there. Now, following that left hook would be Russell. Bam, we're bringing that right hand in behind, okay? And what's happening is, come back. He's getting comfortable, especially with the left-hander that uses his lead hand to pummel. He's getting comfortable with pummeling that jab, so we show it, it's not going to be there anymore. Boom, catch that angle, throw that right hand. One last thing before we finish up, if he gets that hand back up there on that hook, so we throw that hook and it buries in here. This is not boxing. It's not illegal to hook and grab things. With MMA gloves, and we're going to get right behind there, we're going to pull it down, and we're going to throw that right hand again. Thank you, gentlemen. Guys, appreciate it. Tune in anytime. Check out SSF at, uh, Ron, what's our, what's our, what's our, uh, website again. MMAClarksville.com. I'm, I'm a little punchy. MMAClarksville.com. Yep. Check these guys out fighting. Uh, we got a big fight coming up in town March 8th at Electric Cowboy. And uh, stop by anytime. We'd love to work with you. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate it.